Hey, this is Anna Corley. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Uh, I've done a couple of these in the past, but I just felt like doing another one. Uh, and I asked you guys some questions on Twitter, so um, let me get to those. Um, as always, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. This first question is, do I do rock covers? So, I feel like rock is a very broad genre, so I like, uh, I like some rock, um, and I like, I've covered, like, I don't know what you're considering rock, because like I said, some people consider, like, punk pop to be kind of rock, and some people are like, oh, it's classic, only classic rock, so, no, um, but I do like some rock music, um, I feel like even if I did cover a rock song, it's gonna end up sounding country, just because... I'm southern and I play acoustic guitar, so um, I don't know if I could do it justice, but maybe one day I will try. Um, but yeah, and they also asked, have you ever been to Africa? No, I have never been outside the continental US. So, and what inspired you to do music? Um, I just love music. I have an anxiety disorder, OCD, and um, I feel like lots of things make me really nervous, but music is something where I can just, like, really relax and be calm. Like, I'm never nervous when I'm singing or playing guitar or anything, and like I said, I've always sang and played music, so. Um, and somebody else asked, what are some musical instruments you don't know how to play, but you want to learn how to play? That's a good question. Um, I've always wanted to learn how to play the drums, but I don't know that I ever would unless I had, like, my own place and, like, away from other people because um, I want to learn to play the drums but I feel like they're very loud so if I lived in a neighborhood or an apartment I, I feel like it would just drive everyone crazy also I feel like they're kind of expensive I don't know I could make it work but you can't I was gonna say you can't sing and play drums but I feel like Karen Carpenter did so maybe that would work out I don't know but I have always wanted to learn how to play the drums um, what's your favorite type of music I don't know, I like a lot of stuff, so I don't know that I necessarily have a type. Um, I just heard a little collar rustle. I think my dog's under my bed. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I like a lot of stuff, so I don't think I have a favorite type. Anything I can tell that they like feel their music and they're like real... I don't know if soulful is the right word because that makes it sound like soul music and not necessarily, but anything where they really like feel their music and you can tell it's important to them um, and they're like, uh, has really good lyrics, anything like that I love, so I guess. It's not a genre, but... Um, and they also asked, what age did you start singing? And my mom says I came out singing, but that's probably a lie. But I remember singing when I was like really, really little, so... Um, let's see what other questions. Some of these are s very similar to what's already been asked. So, who is my favorite singer of all time? So, my favorite band is Reliant K, which if you watch my videos, I feel like you know because I talk about it an unholy amount. <laughs> so, um, so I would have to say Matthew Thiessen, just, um, because their music has helped me through a lot of stuff. Like, they, there's a Reliant K song for everything. Like, fight me on it. I will send you a Reliant K song for whatever it is you need. Um, and Dream Duet Partner, Alive or Dead, would again probably be Matthew Thiessen just because I really um, appreciate Reliant K's music. Um, and he's got a really good voice and he's like an amazing songwriter. Also, if I had to choose, would either be Adam Young of Owl City or Bryce Avery of The Rocket Summer because those are um, my two other favorite bands. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, this one's interesting. If you have a chance to date within Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, and Shawn Mendes, who would you date? Um, Shawn Mendes is too young for me, so we're going to rule him out, but I do really like his music. And I'm pretty sure Zayn Malik has a girlfriend, so I guess I'll have to go with Harry Styles. Um, but yeah, they're all very talented, though. I do enjoy some old One Direction and Shawn Mendes tunes, so... Who do you... Uh. I accidentally clicked some. Okay. <laughs> Who do you admire and get your inspiration from in the music industry? Um, just lots of different bands. Like I said, anyone who really 
like feels their music and puts a lot of work into it, you can tell that it's like important to them. I'm not bashing just like, you know, pop music because obviously I cover a lot of like pop music, but sometimes it's catchy but you it doesn't have feeling to it. Um and like that's fine if you just want a fun song, but I feel like what's really like stays with people is music that um they can relate to in some way. So again, sometimes that's with pop, it just it just depends, you know, but um, I keep like talking with my hands, but then I just realized they're not on screen. <laughs> so you're probably like, why are you waddling your arms? But yeah, so if I'm doing that again, that's what that is. And I'm looking at my phone, so to read the questions. Um, this person says, I'm sure related about music, hello. And I don't know how to reply to that other than, hello. <laughs> um, who was the first inspiration to you to pick a guitar and want to be a musician? So I've pretty much always wanted to be a singer, and I've been singing my whole life. Um, I've been songwriting, trying to write good music since I was probably like 14 or 15. Um, I used to write little stupid songs with my friends about like chicken nuggets and junk, and I think I mentioned that in my last Q&A, because it was weird and I feel like I talked about that, but... Um, I remember I never really had an interest in learning to play the guitar until I went to an open mic in 2013. I was a senior in high school and everybody there was like singer songwriter -y and wrote their own stuff and played guitar and I was like I have to learn to play guitar so I just went and um, started guitar lessons and then like uh, within like two months I just started playing out there two or three months started playing. I wasn't super good but you know you gotta you gotta get out there and you gotta try. Um, this one just says, do you have a secret smile? I don't, I don't know what that means. Weird smiles? I, I'm not sure what that means, so maybe. Um, would you rather visit Mount Everest or the Mariana Trench? Mariana Trench? I don't know how you say that. Um, I've heard that Mount Everest is very hard to climb and that, like, I feel like I would die. So we're going to go with the trench. I feel like that's probably just as hard considering you wrote both, but I'm not familiar with it, so we're gonna go with that. Um, interests outside of music? So, I love crafts and anything like, really anything creative I like doing. So, I really like crafts and baking and cooking and I collect dolls, um, mostly American Girl, but some other dolls. I love animals, so whenever I get a chance to like play with my pets or meet other pets and or like wild animals oh update the other day I put something in my video about how there was a lizard in my room and I forgot to ever update you guys I did the next day after I had filmed and posted that I found the lizard I rescued him and I put him outside so I assume he's doing okay I have not seen him again which means he's probably doing okay so if you were invested or worried now you know <laughs> um, but yeah, can a woodchuck even chuck wood? I don't think so, but like, I've never met a woodchuck, so I mean, there could be one who has that special talent. What type of fast food do you dislike the most and why? I would go with anything meat, just because meat grosses me out, so I don't eat meat. Um, I don't know, it's just always, I've just never really liked it. I'm not, I'm not hating if you like meat, you do you, that's fine. Um, just personally, I don't like eating it. I think it's gross, so any kind of, like, burger or hot dog, especially hot dogs, just, I don't know, they're so mysterious. Like, what is this? It doesn't even look like meat. Like, at least with, like, chicken or a hamburger, I'm like, oh, this is chicken or a hamburger, but a hot dog could be anything. So, I don't know. What do I like to eat in the morning? Usually cereal, but I also really like Eggos. Um... But yeah, lots of questions about favorite singers, so that's kind of, I just keep saying that, I guess, is Reliant K and Matthew Thiessen. Um, let me double check, make sure I'm not missing any. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. If you had to, okay, I did miss one. If you, for some reason, had to play music on a different instrument for the first time and couldn't play any other, which would you choose? Um, I don't know. For some reason, the first one to come to my head is the didgeridoo, but I don't even remember what that is. I just like the name, so uh, I 
I have always wanted to learn drums, so maybe drums, but I don't know. And have you ever had your nose, like, itch, like, right, well, not your nose, like, in between your nose and your mouth? Because that's what's happening, and I, I, I really want to scratch it, but I don't want y'all to think I'm picking my nose, because it's, like, right there, and it's, it's driving me crazy, so... There's that, but, <laughs> sorry, I just get weird sometimes, but, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and for actually asking questions, that was great. Um, I, I hope I answered your question, and if not, I will try to do one again somewhat soon. Um, and thanks so much to my patrons for making this video possible. They are Eric Ross, Chris Black, Jeffrey Livinghouse Sr., Justin Warren, Patty Angulo, Vic Habersmith, and Carl Long. Again, thank you so much. If you would like to support this channel on Patreon, that'll be in the description below. Um, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.